here's the reality that we all live in today in 2017, almost 2018. We've never been more connected as a species than we are now. I mean, the incredible advances in technology that have given us instant access to information, to individuals, to movements. You know, we've never been more plugged in than ever in the history of our species. And at the same time, there's never been more noise. There's never been more information coming at us. There's never been more things clamoring for our attention. And we have not evolved our human capacity to process information. So we still filter out the vast majority of what is coming at us. Now, in business, this creates a really interesting opportunity slash problem because it's never been easier to use this technology to get your voice, your message, your products and services, the opportunities you have to help people out into the world. Never been easier. And at the same time, it's never been harder to cut through the noise that everyone else is drowning in. So what do you do? There's a concept that you know I thought of yesterday, but then turns out I'm not the first person who thought of it as I Googled it, uh, but it's still really compelling and it's what I wanna to talk to you about. And that concept is return on individuality. ROI, return on individuality. You know, there is one thing that only you have, and that is you. There is literally no one else in history. If you think about this, if you take your ancestry, your roots, and then your own personal experiences from the time you, little you came into this world until today, you put those together, you have an absolutely unique experience. Nobody else, no other human being has ever had that same combination. It's what I call your story print. It's like a fingerprint, but it's unique to you. And it may be the only thing that's unique. So how do you tap into this to create return on individuality? Well, the first thing is you got to be willing to show up and be yourself. Listen, I think we've all fallen pray to this kind of me too marketing. We see other people in our industry, maybe who do something similar to what we do, and they seem to be successful, right? And so we try to model what they do and how they talk, and maybe even at the tactical level, how they run their Facebook ads or what they post on Instagram. But the problem is it ends up creating this kind of lookalike copy and you, you already had a hard enough time standing out now if you're just a knockoff then you really got a problem what's the solution forget all that stuff the, you got to own the weird wonderful quirkiness that is you you've got to not only who you are but how you see the world is unique so show people what you see use stories to capture their attention and get them to see themselves and life differently Right? Our job as marketers, as business owners, as people who are trying to serve our audience is to help them see other ways of seeing. Of course, in the process, they may see that doing business with us is a good idea, and that's great, but we've got a bigger mission here. We're actually out to change the way people see themselves. And in order to do that, we have to change the way we see ourselves. We've got to flip that switch back to say, you know what? It is okay for me to be weird, for me to be different, for me to stand out because I'm not like those folks. Nothing wrong with what they're doing, right? But I got to own who I am. So that's my challenge. That's my invitation to myself and to you. Step into that. Own your uniqueness. Find ways to tell aspects of your story that will resonate with others. After all, they're really only interested in in their life and in their outlook. So connect with them at that level. It's not about us, right? And our unique story is the only thing we got. That's the paradox. You follow this? It's not about me. And what's unique to me is the only thing I have to create this conversation. So that's my invitation to you. Make uh, what you will of that. And I look forward to seeing more of you and getting that ROI, that return on individuality. Thanks.